Hey everybody. Hi. I'm Michelle. I'm Brian. And we are cruising with the Coleman's. And we are having a catastic day here <laughs> at Loyston Point Campground on Lake Norris in Tennessee. Say, the lake's behind us. We're having a pretty great day. We are on the second day of our adventure out this summer and uh, we wanted to share something with you. So you probably have seen already on Instagram or Facebook that we have been working on a catio. Our cats are <laughs> are living their life uh, in a 30 foot trailer. And so we wanted a place to let them be outside safely. Uh, they do like to walk around on leashes, but we wanted to have a place for them to come out safely so we can be out enjoying the campfire, talking to friends, and they can come out and enjoy us, enjoy the time, but on their own terms. So we've been uh, working on this for quite a while, a couple of weeks uh, during some of our spring camping as we were getting ready to come out on this trip. Um, and then this week things uh, had a drastic change for us. You know how sometimes something goes wrong before a big trip? I had to buy four new tires for the truck and I thought that was the thing. We did think that was the thing. Unfortunately, on Tuesday morning, uh, I was getting ready to go to work before we left here and uh, Pepe, uh, had uh, an event, I guess we could say. Uh, basically, he threw a blood clot. And we, we found out he had an underlying heart condition uh, that we didn't know about. Uh, obviously, uh, he's a rescue cat. All of our animals that we've ever had are rescues, and we fully support rescue animals. Sometimes they can live just as long and healthy life as anybody else. But Pepe's had a, a pretty rough start, and uh, when that happened on Tuesday morning, we took him to the emergency vet and they immediately said there's really absolutely nothing that can be done for him. He was in quite a bit of pain, uh, was having a hard time breathing, and unfortunately we had to put him to sleep on Tuesday morning. So that was really rough. It was a, a rough day for us, uh, especially knowing that we were leaving for this trip three days later. It was the best timing because we weren't like out in the middle of nowhere at a campground. So if anything bad were to happen, he certainly Pick the best time. We were both home. Right. We both shared the. Dang it. We shared the last time with him. So. So, so things change, and part of this video is a little bit of a, a dedication, to our Pepe. Okay. But we still want to show you about our catio because uh, ad our adventure cat Lucia does love being outside with us. So we are still, of course, going to be using it. Of course, she's here with us now. She loves it. She loved it a, a whole lot more than Pepe. Pepe was perfectly happy sitting at the edge of the catio looking outside where she wanted to be outside all the time. She wants to be outside all the time. Um, so we want to tell you a little bit about how we created this catio. So we started with an Amazon product that I've got a link for down in the description below. We're not going to 100% recommend this product. I will tell you that the construction of it is not fantastic. The funny thing is, if you search for a catio to fit your RV, you can't find much of anything. So this was an idea that kind of came out of, let's find something that could work, but we have to get a little creative with it. So what you're seeing as we put this together is an, an, a vision that we had uh, taking the, the enclosure and being able to create a place for them to come outside. But you're not going to find it if you search on Amazon for something like that. If you have creative skill sets, sewing, construction, work with PVC pipe. And a lot of imagination. <laughs> this is definitely a project for you. If not, Brian is not out for hire. No, sorry. <laughs> uh, so the product is actually originally designed to be like a, an outdoor playpen area for a cat. And as you can see in the product, uh, in the picture of the product from Amazon, they show the tower, the tunnel, and then that little playpen area. We took that playpen and with some measurements figured out pretty quickly that it was just the right size to fit in the opening of our outdoor kitchen. So I now have two panels and these two panels are going to go into the doorway of our outdoor kitchen as the way, as the entryway, one to keep the cats in and to keep um, other things out. So what we're gonna do is we've taken this and we've got it down to the size that we need it. We're now going to add some Velcro to it. This is a two-piece sticky back Velcro. Obviously, I'm putting one side here, 
And then the other side of that's going to be attached to the inside of the patio. So it all worked out really well together. Um, Michelle then added with her sewing skills. Put my 4-H skills to use, yeah. She added the fabric panel because we do still have our litter boxes behind that area. What are you doing, Michelle? Drinking wine. Oh, you mean this? Yeah, the, the project part oh, of the okay. wine. Um, so this is the screen for the former outdoor kitchen, now cat... Catio. Catio. Cat area. Because we're those people now. We are not, but we kind of are. But that's okay, because I feel like if you're going to have something, you should have it right. So we found some cool fabric. Super cool fun fabric. fabric. And um, we decided we wanted to put fabric on part of this because the cat litter box is here. And I don't know about you, but when I go to the bathroom, I like the door closed. And nobody outside the RV wants to see the cats <laughs> pooping. No. And so this just kind of creates privacy, but it also um, helps to secure this whole screen to the outdoor kitchen because the um, Velcro that we're using won't stick to the screen very well, but it will stick to this fabric. So it's kind of a two-part process. Here. And we're reinforcing the Velcro with some stitching. Exactly. So um, I am right now just pinning it on, and then my great 4-H skills are going to come into play as I put a poorly done but functional stitch on here. Could we enter our catio in the state fair? Oh my gosh, that would be super cool. <laughs> but we won't. It also, because of the zipper panels, we could zip the cover over that opening so that it's just an opening and it gives them an extra window to sit and look at and they can smell the air and see the birds and watch from that uh, vantage point in addition to our windows. The catio itself, PVC tubes that came with it were a very thin walled tube, Terrible. so it was very shaky. Once it was all put together, the whole thing was just really wobbly, and we were not happy at all with that. Um, Pepe and Lucia both are not huge cats, but they're both heavy enough that when they would, one of them would jump from one level to another, the whole thing, we were afraid it was going to fall over. Even strapped down to the picnic table, we could just watch the wobble. And when you have a cat, if, you, if you're going to give them a tower, the last thing you want to happen is for it to fall over because they're just going to look at you and go, well, I'm never going in that again. Right. So we went to a uh, 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 big box home store, bought PVC pipe, bought the PVC fittings. Uh, one set of fittings we did have to find on Amazon because it wasn't something that was in the stores. Right. And we did check several stores, but it was basically a fitting that was used for PVC bookshelves and construction things, not for actually what PVC is designed for. So we did find those fittings online. I would be embarrassed, we have not added it up, but I would be embarrassed to tell you how much this catio has cost us in You the don't want to know. Between Listen. buying the original product, yeah. which I think was about $80, buying the PVC, buying the fabric, <laughs> um, and then the amount of time we've spent kind of tweaking it and working it all well, out. We've spent a lot of time and money on this, going, but our cats are worth it. Take an adventure with us Take an adventure with us Life's not a drag, let the cat out the bag No time to worry or fuss Try a new menu or wine We'll always have a good time okay, So I'm putting some scratcher rugs in One so they can scratch but um, depending on the table size, uh, this gives them a ramp that is more secure than this netting. So that's the point. It's got a couple of purposes. And Especially if the table is lower than the floor. Floor. And then if we have it like on a bigger picnic table, um, then this, uh, the rugs keep this from rolling around. So it serves a couple of purposes. This scenario is not ideal by any means. This is a table that we bring with us because if you look over here, we have a picnic table that doesn't move. It's concrete. Yeah, so we probably won't have this here for long because it's, you don't, I mean, this is, you can see how much this hangs down here. I mean, this is just really not smart at all. Um, so we're doing this just for demonstration. And so what we'll do is we'll zip up an end on this and have it over on the table. But we want to still show you what it looks like here. So um, this is uh, Velcro. It's not ideal. 
This is Velcroed at the bottom. And it just pops into place. So that's like that. We, we, I sewed this on because that's the cat uh, litter box. And that way they always have a little privacy. And it Velcros at the bottom. And we've decided so far not to put anything at the top because yeah. it just kind of snaps into place. It really snaps. This is the loosest area, so we're probably going to end up putting something on this side. But because this has the litter box here, no cat can get over to this side. And on this side, even though it sticks, it kind of pushes in a little bit, when the um, tunnel is on there, it actually pulls the whole thing this way. And there are no corners for them to get out. So... In my non-ideal situation here, yikes, I'm going to attempt to zip. We are not recommending buying this product. And one of the main reasons is these zippers are terrible. The zippers are very poor quality. The other reason is that the lack of stability until we upgraded the um, tubing to PVC. So hopefully I can get it zipped since I'm on camera. There we go. All right, so, and the other thing about these rugs is they're sturdy enough that they can be used like this to kind of mess around with. So again, not ideal. I'm gonna pull the table a little bit out. It's very little. I really just want the rugs to have enough room to come up here. I'm gonna tuck this all up. That way, we don't want the sag um, to be there, so there we go. So and you'll plenty. also notice that we added lights yes. around the edge here. I just stitched these in, so each one has you a little stitch tied in. And uh, that was because with Lucia being a black cat, uh, she loved coming out at night, but we couldn't tell that she was out here. Yeah. So that little bit of light, um, those are very dim lights, but that little bit of light helps us just to see when she's in the tower. So we have one more thing to do, and that is to strap that down. And Brian, we'll let you do that. We uh, are putting this tie-down strap in here. And I'm right now I'm feeding it through the channel where the... Feeding it through that channel. The reason we wanted this strap on here is one, um, we're concerned that if the wind came through, this is going to act like a big sail. So if it got windy, if the uh, if a breeze came through, it might blow the whole thing over. Or if the cats are jumping from level to level, it could just make it uh, shaky enough that it would fall over. And we don't want that to happen. On a picnic table, it works great because we just strap it all the way around the picnic table. On this table, because this table is a little bit smaller, it is a little bit trickier. Uh, but we're still strapping it through there and uh, just to help hold it in place and then hold it tight. And then we're also using this strap just to kind of keep it all in place. When it was collapsed, you saw I took this strap off of it because the whole thing, when it's taken apart, all we do are take out the vertical pieces, the horizontal pieces, we just leave that together as a big square, collapse the whole thing down, strap it, and then it goes into our outdoor kitchen for storage for travel days. This is not something we would leave without us sitting right here. Certainly can, not with the cats available. Not with the cats available, especially with the instability of this table. Um, and honestly, we, we probably won't. The only reason we're putting it on this table right now is just to show everybody. Yeah, this I would not put it on this table ideally for the cats to use. Can we carry one more table in our RV? Um, I think four tables is my limit. Dang. So I think you've got a pretty good overview here of how we put the whole thing together. Uh, we're going to give you some video here that you can see of Pepe uh, in it and Lucia in it and some of our test times out. And of course, a little bit of video, hopefully, of Lucia out in it today. Um, like I said, it's not ideal. And one thing I do want to mention is that we would never, ever leave this open no. and available to the animals if we weren't at the campsite. Well, and, and at night, uh, no matter where you are, I mean, we don't want any critters coming into our RV. And so we wouldn't do that. And we certainly don't want them outside and something happening. So this is only for their use 
while we are at the campsite. And usually at least one of us is outside whenever it's open. Yes. Another dog or another animal could come in and uh, disturb them. Because sometimes people don't put their pets on leashes. And of course, where we are right now in the state park, there's all kinds of birds and other right. predators right. that might look in and see an animal and get really worried. Now, because we have invested so much money, we might as well class it up just a little bit. So we made a sign. Now that's not the sign we had made for ours. We're doing a giveaway, but let me tell you about the sign we made. We were looking for a sign that helped kind of put it all together. Because I, the first weekend we had it out, we had more <laughs> visitors to our campsite than I think we have ever had. Yeah. We had people stopping probably every five or 10 minutes. Yeah, um, they wanted to come by and see, which is great. Um, so we wanted a sign, so we, we had a sign made um, that said, welcome to Pepe and Lucia's catio. And so we had that sign made. Um, Brian, we're gonna- It's Rick's Rustics on Etsy. And uh, he also gave us another sign here to well, use as a yeah. giveaway on our channel. So we are giving this sign away. What do they have to do to get win this sign? Michelle? Okay, so here's what you have to do. Comment below, tell us the name of your cat. Um, tell us maybe a little bit about your cat a little bit or as much as you want, I don't care. Maybe what they like to do, their favorite toy, their favorite adventure. Tell us a little bit about your cat and then we're gonna throw all the comment names and randomizer. We're gonna pick one lucky winner and we'll mail you this sign. Our welcome to the catio sign. Put it wherever you want. Maybe it's on, uh, Maybe it's just on their house at home. Maybe it's on the RV because your whole RV is a catio. <laughs> Who knows? I don't care. <laughs> and by the way, Rick's Rustics on Etsy, he also gave us a discount code. So if you check out his site on Etsy, it's Rick's Rustics. And here's what it looks like. He's got like 65, 68 products on there. Uh, not just cat related. He's got dog stuff. He's got wedding stuff. He's yeah. got all kinds of great products on there. And we can tell you the quality is fantastic. Um, he does a really nice job. And he has lots of colors. This is just the color that we picked. And we're going to give this uh, about probably about two weeks and then we'll draw. So if it's already been two weeks and you've just found this video, please go check him out and use that discount code because that's going to be available for much longer. And the discount code is CRT10. And that discount's gonna give you 10% off anything in his shop. And of course, that's also down below in the description and we linked his shop down there. So thanks, Rick. We hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for listening to us. It was a little, um, it, it certainly didn't go in the direction that we thought, but life never does, right? That's all about what we're about. It's about taking an adventure and that adventure will take you sometimes to the best of places and sometimes to the lowest of lows. So we'll talk to you later. See you next week. Bye-bye. So far, a win for the cats, a win for the humans. Um, it's free entertainment and it has worn them out. Lucy has already actually taken a nap. And she never takes a nap. And as you can well imagine, it's gotten a little bit of attention here in the campground. When <laughs> you are wise, we'll always have a good time. Whether it's RVs or hiking, kayaks or biking, take an adventure, take an adventure, take an adventure with us.